hey welcome back so now that we have the code that we want let's give it a shot and see if it work at all now the way we will know if it's working instead of having my school over here we're going to check whatever school name is inside the user's uh, session right that's the name of the school we'll put there so let's go to our um, wait a minute so here we are able to get um hmm. i see i see i see the thing is i want us to be able to know the name of the school immediately the problem we have here is that we're just getting the school id but not the actual school name so we need a quick way to actually there is a quick way to do this and that quick way is through the get wait a minute wait a minute okay so the core static is here and we can get any item from there that's all good okay so to make things easier since when we are switching to the id we can as well put the school name there just to save on adding too much code so what i'll do is i'll just add an extra thingy here i'll say user school underscore name and then change that to school because we just call it school in the table i think yes it's school so we'll get the school name as well there okay great so now we can check to see if um, school name exists if it doesn't then we check for the id okay i think that's okay there so let's go to our navigation views includes nav now i know there is nothing in the uh the same way we have get first name here i'm going to copy this and then come up here to where it says my school i will paste and instead of first name we're going to get school name uh -huh. let's use the underscore like that school name let's come back here and refresh okay so we have the unknown that's what we get when we don't find what uh, what we're looking for so it goes unknown but now let's uh, switch and see if that changes so this is what will show if you're not if you're super admin and you're not assigned to any school so let's switch to this last one right here so click and as you can see we have switched schools right there you see that's the new school we are in right now and same thing if i switch to this one you see that now we have the other school selected here so it means when you do this switch, even the information you see will change to that particular uh, school that you are in right now. And even when you're creating a user, those users will be for that particular school. So now that we've switched to this, let's go to our stuff and see what we are getting. Now in this stuff here, we have to change our query. So I'm going to go to these are super admins so we don't really care about them but um, this is where you will have to choose whether the super admin can see I think we will put a different page to see all the other super admins that you have now in this particular one we're going to go to the staff which is users so in the controllers users this is the query that we have it's find o okay but this is not what we want we want to find where the 
uh, where is this? Where the user ID corresponds to these guys. So let's write a query and use that instead of this. So I'm just going to say user here. And instead of this, I'm going to write query. So instead of select all, we'll have a query instead. So the query is going to be like select um, select all from users where So right here, let me come back to the nav. You see, this is where, this is how we get what we want from the auth. So I'm going to come back to users and I will be like school ID should be equal to the auth, auth get school name like so wait did i leave okay i left that out so instead of school name it's going to be school id we want to get that school id which is currently in the uh, signed in user then get that and add it to our query so we'll say where so select all from users where um school id that's the important one is equal to actually it's select oh yes selector from users where school id is equal to uh full column school id i think that's about it mm -hmm. and uh, we must add an array here to represent this right there. So I'll be like school ID. Let me move this a little bit this way. And let's put an arrow and put the value there like this. Okay, so we have our array here and we have our query there. Everything should work fine. So if this all goes well, we shouldn't see any results here. Oh, okay, so except me right now, I'm part of this school because of that. So it's correct in bringing this result. But now how do we add uh, people to this particular? Now, if you want to exclude super admins from being seen, you can add another condition here. Just say and, and then you say rank is not equal to uh, super admin like this so if you do that then you won't see this either okay and then we'll have this error for each argument must be of type array on line 10 which means there's no results so let's fix that real quick let me go down to the views and users and then where is this there's this for each this is users, right? Okay. So why isn't that working? So it is returning true after all in the query, even though it is empty. So let's go to the query core database inside query. So it's returning true because that actually ran and then it returned true. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how we can return false when we were waiting for a result. Fetch. So if it's array fetch and count is greater than... Mm hmm. Hmm. If we come here, this one will have to be set one way or another. Okay. 
I'm not really sure what will work better here. We'll just have to re-experiment. So maybe instead of struggling with all this, let's just make it uh, dummy proof on the other side. I think that's always better. So I'm going to go to the users. Where are they? Uh, user view. Instead of doing this, let's just put an explicit uh, is array. Hmm. Actually, no, let me come back here and just remove this return true. Sorry about that. I think that's a better option. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so no users were found and we can put that in the users view here on the if statement. Just uh, duplicate that if statement and put an else statement here like so else to colon and then we can uh, put a message now we did write a message like this on the schools view so schools view and it's right here so let's copy that and put it on the users view as well like that okay instead of no schools who we'll say no staff members Okay, that will be much better. All right, but in our user thingy here, I want to remove the reference to super admin because I don't want this to be the case. So that way, I, at least I see one user here. So what we need to do at this point is to add new users on this side. And all we need to do for that to happen is to add a button reference to the signup page. So let me go to um, schools view right on the table here. We have a button that takes us to add new, which is this button right here. So I'm just going to copy that with its link as well. Copy and go to the users view right above here justify content center let me paste before i do anything let me see how that will look okay so it's right there add new that's okay so let me move this back a little bit leave some space so here we're going to the sign up page okay so sign up right there good so add new, everything is fine. So let's refresh now. And once I'm here, if I click add new, it takes me to the sign up page. Now we have to put something here to prohibit the super admin from being selected unless you are a super admin. So that will be easy to do as well. If we go to the sign up view, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so there is super admin right there. Now, keep in mind that just hiding these things doesn't actually work. So we will have to also add something to stop this user in case they run their own post uh, document and they supply a super admin thingy there. We're supposed to stop it on the other side as well. But for now, we can start just by hiding it at this point. So we can hide it by going to, let's, let's go back to the users thing. Uh, the way we got the school ID, I want to check the user rank. So I'm coming back to the sign up right here. I will put some PHP tags because I want to have an if statement. So here I'm just going to say if this result of this, this is get um, rank like so. So if they write the result of that is super admin like this, then we are free to show this. So let's put a full column and close that like so. And then right here, I will put some PHP tags and say and if close that as well, like so. 
So since I am a school uh, super admin, it will show there as well. Okay, so this is the preparation for that. Now, if I click the cancel button here, it should take me back to users. So that's what we should add on the cancel button here. So click here. Let's come back here to see, copy these links and put that link there. Come back again. Uh, just the closing A tag that I want to get and put that here. Okay, so when we cancel, we go back to users like this. So refresh and let's click cancel. There we go. And add new. There we go. Okay, very good. Everything remains the same. So let's see how we can add new users to this particular school in the next video.